Number five, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the uh, Minister of Finance and asks, what is his view of Governor Graham Wheeler's recent statement to the Finance and Expenditure Committee that, with regard to the Reserve Bank's recent activities, and I quote, there has been some intervention, in the quotes, in the exchange rate? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, my view is that the statement is probably correct if the, gov if the Governor said it. Uh, he'd be following policy that's been in place since 2004. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. And does he agree with the Minister of Economic Development, Stephen Joyce? That intervention is, quotes, a bit of a fool's paradise, end of quotes. And why is his ministerial colleague making comments about matters he patently knows nothing about? <laughs> Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, in answer to the second part of the question, uh, Mr Joyce, uh, from my experience, does know quite a bit about it, uh, and perhaps may, may, even know as much, may even know as much as that member about it, possibly more. Possibly more. Uh, with respect to the first, the, the first uh, part of the question, uh, Mr Speaker, as the uh, Governor has said himself, foreign currency intervention is unlikely to have a sustained impact in lowering the exchange rate, uh, but it can reduce pressures in the short term. Supplementary question, Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, does he recall the Prime Minister's statement on the exchange rate? And I quote him, the government does not believe it can influence that through intervention, end of quotes. And if so, and in light of the Reserve Bank's recent action and statements before the Select Committee, has he informed him, the Prime Minister that is, that his belief was demonstrably wrong? Uh, well, Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I think the, the member is uh, trying to uh, make a mountain out of a molehill here. The fact is, the Reserve Bank. Not the, fir not the first time, yeah. Well, at least he's starting with a molehill this time, which is quite big, really. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the, po the point here is that the Reserve Bank has always had the power for intervening. It has published the conditions under which it can make interventions. The bank itself has said that it believes the impact of those interventions are limited and short term. The member, on the other hand, advocates uh, that in the Labor Party that the government can pick an exchange rate and the Reserve Bank can just push the market to that exchange rate. And that is simply wrong. And that is the context of the Prime Minister's statement. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right Honourable Winston Peters. How can New Zealanders and the market, or anybody interested in the subject, possibly have confidence in a government that has such a dysfunctional relationship with the Reserve Bank insofar as the bank's actions, though they might upset big ears, directly contradict the lines spouted by senior government ministers? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, well, Mr Speaker, the, uh, the public uh, do have some confidence in the government. Uh, and the government has a good relationship with the Governor of the Reserve Bank. However, he operates foreign currency intervention uh, quite independent of the government. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Right Honourable Winston Peters. Is it not true that as the Minister of Finance he could have instructed the Reserve Bank to begin intervention in the foreign exchange markets earlier, thereby reducing the devastating impact the high New Zealand dollar has and is having on our export sector as the industries have evidence in their public statements day after day? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I think the members, uh, the, the fact is, no, I haven't issued any direction to them. Uh, the decisions have been, have been made by the Governor about his intervention, and I'm not always aware of whether he is or isn't intervening. Point of order, Right Honourable Winston Peters. Speaker, I'm not asking whether he has done anything, because I know he hasn't. What I want to know is, does he admit that he could have, that he had the power to do it? Yep. Honourable Bill English. <laughs> Uh, no, Mr Speaker, the answer to that is no, and, and with respect to the damaging impact on the export sector, the member should look at the Household Labour Force survey figures today, which show a, a, an increase in full-time jobs across the economy, despite, despite the fact that we have had a high exchange rate. The Reserve Bank Governor uh, is, would not himself claim that his actions are somehow substantially realigning the exchange rate. Question number six, Nikki Wagner. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Science and Innovation, how is the